Hello dear friends. In this session we are going to understand the hooks in React JS. So what exactly is the hooks is? Is one of the most important feature in React which allows us to use state in function like component. Before hooks we need to use state in class based component only. So React hooks allows us to use state management in function based component and we to overcome the need of using class component so prior to react hooks state and other features were only available in class component react state is a built-in object as you know that is used to contain data or information about the component a component state can change over time whenever it changes the component gets re-renders so for re-rendering the component we generally use state and for storing the data and for manipulating the data we generally use state so this state can be used in function component with the help of react hooks so without using the class based component so using hooks we need not to use class book class based component in react js now there are several react hooks included uh, use state this allows us to use a state in functional component. Another react hook is use effect. This hook allows us to perform side effect in functional component such as fetching data or uploading the DOM. One more component is called use context. This allows us to use, use or access the context data in functional component. Use reducer. This hook allows us to manage state in functional component that is more complex or require the ability to perform more than just simple state update use callback this hooks allows you to memorize callback function in functional component use memo this hook allows us to memorize values in functional component and use roof ref this hook allows us to create mutable reference in functional component there are some rules that we have to follow while using hooks Hooks can only be called inside React function component. We cannot use it in class based component. Using hooks, we need not to use class based component. It overcome the use of a class component. Hooks allows us to use in function component only. Hooks can only use only be called at the top level of component. Hooks cannot be conditional. Then in this session we are going to understand about uh, how to use use state react in uh, use state hooks in react. So syntax of using the use state react is first you have to import the use state from react library and then you can use you can define a variable and uh, for setting the value to the variable you can use this set use this any function here. So here color is a variable and to set the value to the color variable I am going to define set color as a function and in front of that here I have written use state is equal to red it indicate that the default value of color variable will be red and whenever I want to set the value of this color variable I need to call the set color function so how can we use this in practical for setting the color of heading we are going to understand so let's begin with creating a simple hooks so here so default simple application is created in react and the simple heading is given here react hooks demo and the output of this component is displayed like this now we'll specify one heading here we'll create an function based base component for demonstrating the react hooks now I am moving towards this uh, source folder I am going to create a new folder inside it so I am naming components inside this components folder I am going to create file called uh, hooks color hooks color change dot js okay. 
so this is the file that i have added and here i'm going to add react function base component to add the react function base component i am using this shortcut rfc because es7 is installed as a extension in visual studio code if i type rfc and hit enter the function base component will automatically be added here so here i'm going to write a simple heading um, and i'm writing as a heading my favorite color is is and i want to specify the name of the color here so I have, before that i am going to create a color variable here so how can i use the color variable for for that i am going to define the constant color and to set the value to this color variable i am going to use set color function and in front of that i am going to use use state so and assigning the default value to this as red so it means that the default value of this color variable is red and the value of this color variable i am going to display in front of this my favorite color is color now we'll see whether it works or not when i save it and when we see the output so here uh, we are getting the getting that we have to add this component here so i have i have to add this hooks color component in app so i am moving toward this app app.js and i am writing uh, i am writing the hooks color change so is a component that i have added and once i save it we'll see the result here it shows saving that my favorite color is red now i want to change the color of this heading also as a red so for that so i am moving towards this hooks color change dot js file and i am going to specify the style attribute here and in front of style i have to specify the color as attribute and then i have to add here var var and in front of that i can write here uh, i can write here for specifying the value as var my var then color so i have to write like this my var dash dash my dash var comma then color so here you have to specify the color okay what we have to specify here color i'm making the copy of this okay okay now what i have done is i also have to change the color of this heading also text color of this heading also so for that i am using this value of color variable as a style attribute value of css so for that i am using the style as attribute and in front of that i am specifying color colon where my where dollar color my favorite color is color now we'll see whether it works or not so when we see here so it, it, it getting we getting the heading in red color now we want to change the color of this heading so how can we change the color of this heading so for that i am going to create two buttons after this heading i am specifying here br and after this br i am going to create button so for this button i am going to change here blue and specifying the text as blue and i am creating one more button and i am specifying the text as green now what i want to do is when this button is clicked when this button gets clicked i have to specify here 
I want to call one function. On the same line, I want to call the arrow function. I want to create a runtime function. I can create a runtime function using this arrow arrow function. And in front of that, I am simply calling the set color. I'm means when we need not to define the function to be called when button is clicked. I am simply defining the function on the same line using this arrow function method. And inside that, I am going to write here blue. So similar to that, I am going to write here to the same button. I am going to write on click is equal to set color and inside the set color bracket I am specifying here green okay so now we'll see whether it works or not now we'll see here when I click on this blue so color is changing here and whenever this click on green something is wrong here uh, on click green what happened to this green okay so here greater than bracket is missing because of that this particular error is occurred now we will see whether it works what happened to this on click ok 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 so inside this button I have to write this on click method on click event actually when I click on this blue and when I click on this green this color of that heading gets changed so in this way we can change the state of the data using the set state hooks so set use state is actually a hook specially designed for function based component using that we can change the color of the uh, heading or we can set the data in we can change the state of the object using this hooks okay i hope you understand what exactly the hook is thank you